Good evening. Good evening. This is Libuani from Ten Times Better Generation School Ministries. We we have come to to the end of an exciting, tough year. And as such, um, I'll remind you the ministry is headed by Senior Pastor Budeli. We're here to wrap up the year in as far as the teachings are concerned before we move on to the new year that is just before us. Um, and in doing so, we are not um, careless to neglect that uh, the year has really been tough and we have lost loved ones along the way. As such, we have dedicated uh, some time today, just a moment of silence, to think and reflect back on all of those that we've lost and see how we progress towards uh, the new year and continue to do what God's word says for our lives amidst the sorrow, amidst the loss, so that we move from one level of victory to the other. So, in just a moment, as soon as uh, I say the word, let us observe a moment of silence to remember everybody we've lost, our loved ones, our family, our friends. Let us observe. Thank you. Now we we move on. We continue with uh, the word of the day. The intention is just to do a quick recap of uh, what we have dwelt on uh, in as far as the teachings are concerned. To make sure that we give you a message that is relevant for the new year. So much uncertainty comes with uh, 2021. Uh, we know that usually people would be coming up with New Year's resolutions, uh, plans for the entire year, but people are hesitant because they do not know what uh, life brings. But we bring you the word today to tell you and remind you that uh, amidst the crisis, amidst the storm, amidst the difficult situations, we know that God will never change. He will always be the same. And amidst all of these trials, tribulations, and difficulties, we know that the word of God in our mouths, as we repeat the word of God for ourselves, for our lives, it is as powerful as God saying it himself. What is the moral of the story? As usual, we want to go back to the beginning. In the beginning, the word says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And what does it tell us or remind us, it reminds us that the beginning of things, whatever we do, whatever we, we, we pursue, we start in the Word. It reminds us that as the Word of God says that in Genesis that uh, in the beginning God said and before He said there was nothing, the earth, the world was formless. And when he said, then the earth, the world became something, something beautiful, something recognizable, something of value, something God could work with. But the essence is God said before he saw. It moves further. It says that uh, in the image of God, this is Genesis 1, 26 now, in the image of God, we as men, both male and female, were created in the image and the likeness of God. Where am I going with this? We are going in as far as reminding one another that uh, to live a prosperous, victorious life amidst the circumstances. We present the circumstances with the word because the word changes circumstances. What are we? We are believing and speaking spirits. What are we? We are circumstance changes. What are we? We are made in the image and the likeness of God. And what does the image and the likeness of God does? It does it goes 
does. Where do we get this? We get this in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1. Where Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 reminds us and tells us that as dearly beloved children, imitate God the Father. What does God do? How does God get his result? God is a believing and speaking spirit. What assurance does that give us? It gives us the assurance that if we are made in the image and the likeness of God, whatever we believe and speak, it shall come to pass for us. Because we are saying that which we are full of. And that which we are full of is the word of God. And when we present the circumstances that we face in the word, then they will be resolved for us. Remember, the essence was that uh, we ought to be in a position to prioritize right. And the highest priority for us is the word of God. Because we know that when we have the word of God, we have God himself. And when we have God, we know that whatever we face, whatever circumstance, we go beat up. We beat it up with the word of God. And we are confident that when we beat it up with the word of God, we get results of the word. The results of the word, they are always victorious. How beautiful is that? Just by you, a mere believer, not even you having a church or whatever, just by you being a believer, being a child of God, you believe and you speak and it will be done for you as you have believed, as you have spoken with your mouth. Because you, you are a believing and you are a speaking spirit. And what do we do as believing and speaking spirits as we share the messages, as we encourage one another? We take a pause and we speak and we confess because our words, they shape up our lives. Our lives, they cut up out and uh, revolve around what we say because we are believing and we are speaking spirits. And that's why we change circumstances by what we say. And let's speak now. Let's make a quick confession. Thank you, Father. For I am made in your image and your likeness. And I know that, Father, I am a product of love. And I know that whatever I speak, whatever I say, it shall come to pass. Because you, Lord... You are my guarantor. You are the author. You are the finisher of my faith. And I know that, Lord, as I repeat your word and I apply it to my life, I will get the results of the word. I will overcome. I will reign. I will rule. And I will dominate in my life in 2021. I miss the chaos. I miss the pandemic. I miss, Lord, Whatever doesn't seem to be going right for me, I know I will lead a victorious life. Not because of what I see, but because of what I believe. Because the word of God says, I am made in the image and the likeness of God. And I will reign, I will rule, and I will dominate, and I will conquer in as far as my life is concerned. Let's move on now. As we were saying that we're made in the image and the likeness of God, and therefore we are imitators of God the Father, we are believing and speaking spirit, and we believe that the things that we call, they shall come to pass. We are also reminded of uh, a scripture that we touched on vividly in our teachings here throughout uh, 2020. There. That one is Joshua chapter, chapter 1, verses 8. I'll read it quickly. Just to make sure that we are aligned in as far as uh, the teachings are concerned. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 reads that, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you are careful to do according to what is written in it. And it wraps up... Uh, in saying that then you'll be prosperous and you'll be successful. The order of things, the priority of things, the priority done right is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And we know that when we have the kingdom of God and his righteousness, the rest for us 
is certain. It is added upon. We shall have good success. We shall be prosperous. We shall be successful. As long as we seek first the kingdom of God. As long as we keep the bow of the law in our mouth. And meditate on it day and night. The meditation like we said is. Is you repeating the word of God? Is you speaking what the word of God says about your life? And having assurance that indeed when I speak the word of God, I will get the results of the word. Because I am a believing and speaking spirit. And I continue with creation where God left off here on earth. Because it is my duty, it is my responsibility to continue with that creation. Because I will speak things. And they will come to pass because I have said so with my mouth. And the guarantor, the author, and the finisher of our faith is God. And we come with conviction and assurance that when we meditate on the word of God and are careful to observe and to do according to what is written in it, by virtue of that, just doing that, we are prosperous and we are successful. It's not a matter of buying prosper, prosperity and success. Prosperity and success uh, become as a matter of being obedient by meditating on the book of the law and being careful to do according to what is written in it. To being a believing and speaking spirit. That's the word of God. That's what the word asks of us. Right, um, towards the end, I want us to be doers and uh, speakers of the word. When we do the word, we then present the new year that comes before us. Even we don't know how it's going to turn out, but we to make it turn out by the ways that we speak. We shape it up. We, we give life into our 2021. And we speak life into 2021 and we know that the life that we speak is what is going to transpire because we are life-giving spirits by virtue of us being created in the image and the likeness of God. Do you have a dream? Do you have a goal? Do you have something you want to achieve? Do you have a sickness you intend to overcome? It all begins with you believing that that thing you are, you are going to accomplish. You ask God in prayer. You make your request known to God in prayer. And you thereafter, after having made your request known, you don't go back and make the same request again. You pray a prayer of thanksgiving because you believe you have received it. Because the instant you have asked for it, spiritually, it is done. God says so himself and the word of God never lies. God never lies. As such, let us make a declaration for our new year, for our 2021. Let us give it shape. Let us make it take the character of us because for our lives we are the prophets. Because the things that we say, they come to pass. Because what we see is what we see in our spirits and what we see there. We are confident that it will come to pass because our guarantor is God himself. It is God, the Father. Let us make our confession for 2021. You repeat after me. Thank you, Father, for 2021. I know that, Father, it is full of uncertainty. But in the uncertainty, I know that, Father, it is full of... Uh, miracles and great results for my life. I know that, Father, in the new year 2021, I shall reign, I shall rule, and I shall dominate. I will get results of the word. My life, it will no longer, it will no longer be the same. Never, 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 never. To the glory and the honor of his name. To the glory of God, I will lead a victorious life. I will receive results of the word. 
I will be even more prosperous. I know that my faith will be even more effective when I acknowledge every good thing which is in me, in Christ. I know that in 2021, the victory of Christ it is mine, it is guaranteed, it is certain in Jesus' mighty name. This is Libuani, your teacher from 10 times better generation school ministries, headed by senior Pastor Budedi. We wish you a prosperous new year, 2021. We wish that you continue to reign, to rule, and to dominate, and to, if, to be even more successful in your life because you are made in the image and the likeness of God, and you have a believing and speaking spirit, a prosperous one. Happy 2021. Let us continue to achieve. Amen.